why you're all wrong about McDonald's. Kinda. With the world's economy in peril and constant threat of recession, it should come as no surprise that McDonald's is growing more than ever. Poor, anxious, miserable people make perfect customers. And who likes small family businesses? Ugh. Their restaurants may have gone from looking like a hyped up 10 year old at Disney World to a depressed middle aged accountant, but here's a few great things about our beloved restaurant. No matter where you are in the world, you can always find a McDonald's and have something affordable and familiar. So you can stuff your face until you feel sick and then four minutes later, miraculously, be hungry again. Because of their commercial success, they're under extreme scrutiny. So you won't find a more hygienic kitchen and higher food safety standards. What better place to clog your arteries than slowly poison yourself? Another great thing is that feeling when you're driving home after a vacation, everyone's tired and then you see the McDonald's sign and without saying anything, you pull in and everyone in the car cheers. It's that moment and the chemicals that give you that instant gratification that's slowly destroying your natural reward system. Plus, it tastes good, doesn't it? Look, if it's that bad, why did Elon Musk just buy 48% stake in the company this week? He's now the CIEIO. Yeah, the ice cream machine's always broken. The strawberry milkshake contains absolutely zero strawberry. And there's 19 ingredients in the french fries. But guess what? They give loads to charity, it's cheap, and you know, Big Macs. Their Caesar salad might be more fattening than their hamburgers, but who goes to McDonald's for a salad? That's like going to a hooker for a cuddle. And if you believe all that negativity that's been proven in the media, then you're thicker than that weird pink chicken sludge that they turn into chicken nuggets. Look, none of you like to admit that you eat it regularly, while McDonald's state that they sell the most burgers in the world per month. Well, someone's lying, aren't they? You can tell some of the liars because you can't see their McRibs. Anyway, this was great. Give us a little subby wub and I'll see you next time.